YouTube, what's going on? Professional Madden player T. Davis here in our favorite series from last year, the series you guys love so much. We're going to break down 32 team ebooks here right on the channel. That's it. Free offensive ebooks from all 32 NFL teams. So we're going to have some of the best money plays in every single playbook to break down uh, on the channel for you guys here. So whether you are a fan of the team, whether you use that team in Madden, it doesn't matter. We're going to break down the best money plays in every single playbook here on the channel in our 32 money play series. If you guys want more content, Content like this make sure to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube smash that like button and comment down below anything you want to see here on the channel if you're enjoying these free ebooks or what team you want to see me do next but we're gonna start at the top we're gonna start you know we're gonna go alphabetical order but we will get through all 32 teams last year it was a huge hit everyone loves these 32 team breakdowns so I'm gonna do it here again on the channel probably gonna last a few weeks though trying to get all 32 teams in but don't worry your team will be on there so check out my playlist as well if you're not sure or if you can't find your team check out the playlist on my channel um, and just go through the channel in general and you'll be able to find your team so that's really it for the intro guys of course i have coaching sessions available i have 30 minute and 60 minute sessions if you guys want to improve as a madden player i've been around for 10 years have hundreds of thousands of dollars in in career winnings worked as the color commentator for ea sports for our big madden tournaments this year in the past few years so i know what i'm talking about a little bit when it comes to madden so check out the ebooks down below i have a west coast offensive ebook i have an indianapolis colts offensive ebook and i have a tampa bay buccaneers defensive ebook like i said the coaching sessions and film study reviews you can check out all those things and links in the description below as well as my social medias you can follow me on twitter on instagram if you have any questions or anything of that nature so that's really it guys let's jump in to the free ebook right now all right youtube we will start with the single back wing stack formation of course we're bringing down some of the best money plays in the carolina panthers offensive playbook and this is one of my favorite playbooks in all of madden 22 it is just so absolutely stacked whether you want to be a shotgun passer or play from the under center, whether it be single back, eye form, strong close. They pretty much have everything you could possibly want here in Madden 22. So we'll break down majority of these are going to be passing plays. But in this wing stack, we'll talk about a little bit of a nice little mini scheme where we can run and pass out of. All right, so the single back wing stack formation, of course, the plays that we want to take a look at. And there's, there's tons of good plays in here. You know, PA fork, we got the flanker spot, curl post drag, halfback belly weak, smash is really good. But then, of course, the plays we want to take a look at here are dive, PA double in shot, and hat back stretch. You also have a jet sweep that I like to mix in uh, just occasionally as well. So I'm going to go ahead and set my audibles here for the hat back dive, the stretch, and the PA double in shot. These are the plays we're going to kind of just play around with here. Now, of course, to keep it simple, of course, the dive and the stretch. The thing that's cool about this is you can actually play make of the runs to the left or the right. You know, dive and stretch, just really good in Madden every single year. Um, obviously, you kind of want to read the box. So, like a set like this where we see that nickel normal, I do like to take it with the dive up the middle as we kind of have, you know, a little bit of space up the middle to make something happen. And then, of course, you go over to the stretch. We like that because we can actually flick the stick to the left if we want to run it to the wide receiver side or we can keep it to the right um, if we want to run it to the tight end side. Now, obviously, I prefer to run it to the tight end side. That is the strong side. But sometimes you have a little bit more space to the left. That's why I'm going to uh, playmaker to the left here. Try to get to the outside with my guy, Christian McCaffrey. Make something happen. Spin back inside. So that's the cool thing with the stretch. You just try to get outside, get some space, utilize your best uh, playmakers out there. This time we'll run it to the right, to the strong side. We didn't really have the numbers over there, but we're still able to make a little bit happen there. So you just want to mix in the run and the pass. I'll go ahead and run it one more time here. This time I'll run the dive right up the middle. And you see they were able to get a pretty big play out of it. So the dive can be really effective. Then you go over to the PA uh, deep shot, right? It looks like this couple of adjustments I like to make. I do like to streak uh, RB. And I like to sometimes either drag or in route B. So the receiver on the inside to the left. That would be circle on PlayStation. So it's going to look like this. Now you can also put A on a drag if you want. You can put them on, You can put A pretty much on whatever you want. I'm going to keep him blocking uh, for this example just to give myself a little bit more, uh, you know, you know, uh, protection here so that I can kind of catch the defense off guard look for this deep crosser. So, of course, we have a high-low read here with the drag or the deep crosser. But if you're patient... And you wait, you see you get a nice, big, open play to that deep crosser. Deep crossing routes, really, really effective in Madden this year. So we'll go ahead and run it one more time here. Let's see if we see if we can try to check it down. This time I'll check it down to the drag underneath DJ Moore for an easy completion. So really just reading the defense, um, depending on if you want to go to the drag or to the crosser. And, of course, the streak there from Tremble, he's just there to bring the zones back. We're really never going to throw that streak unless it's a blown coverage uh, by the defense. But you see here, once again, we go to the crosser. 
You have a big play deep down the sidelines. Now, one other thing that I do want to mention is you play the hash marks. I like to mix in the hatback wheel flat combo. So you see here, I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'm going to continue to put RB on a streak to bring the zones back. But this time, I'm going to put McCaffrey on a wheel route. Just like this. I'm going to go ahead and put DJ Moore on a flat route. Just like that. So now I have the hatback wheel flat combo to the left. As well as the crosser coming back to the right side. The, both these routes really stress the user. So that's why it's good because the user has to choose one. Either the hatback wheel or the deep crosser. They can't guard both by themselves. So you see here. I like to pass lead that down or low pass that. And he always gets in that little area in the zone coverage that they really can't guard. So one more time. Set it up. It's going to look just like this. And kind of as soon as he cuts up, these hatback wheels are so effective in Madden 22 for an easy completion. Now say... They go down to bite on that halfback wheel, of course. Right? They say the user's going to go guard that halfback wheel. That's when we just want to be patient. Kind of wait, wait, wait. And we'll have that crosser deep down the sidelines. Obviously, um, we ran out of time there. Chris Jones is just an absolute beast. Uh, so let's try that one more time here. So imagine they go ahead and they use that halfback wheel. We wait, we wait, we roll out. And eventually, we have that crosser deep down the sidelines for a big play. So I absolutely love this single back wing stack formation. Let's jump into the next play. All right, now let's go over to the Bunch Y Flex formation. Of course, brand new to Madden 22 is this Bunch Y Flex formation. It has tons of great plays. You got the RPO Zone Alert Omaha, Dig Return, uh, Z Spot, uh, Dagger, Flood, Vertical, Speed Dig, all of these really, really good. But the play I do want to break down is Bench Pivot here. We're going to go ahead and break it down versus just a, let's see if we can find a basic, pretty basic zone defense. That we can go ahead and run this against. I would like to get it versus hard flats. But we'll just run it versus a cover two, right? Let me go ahead and move spot the ball this way. Now what we want to do here is we actually can create a flood concept over here on the right side, right? So you have that nice corner route from DJ Moore here, the A receiver. And we have B already on that route. So I like to streak RB, the inside slot receiver, just like that. And I'm going to put the running back on a wheel. And we're going to create a flood concept over here to the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and roll out to the right. We also have X coming to the, from the back side on that dig route that we can hit if nothing else is open, right? So let's go ahead and run it here. Once again, it looks just like that on the right side. We hike it. Now we, I like to roll out if possible. And this time they're playing pretty back, pretty far back on that corner route that we want to hit. So we just check it down easily to our underneath route. So that's really it all is. You know, we're looking toward the corner route. If that's covered, we check it down to B over there on the right side. Let's go ahead and run it again here. See if we can get that corner out, getting behind the cloud. See, sometimes, so it depends on the, how the distance or the depth of that cloud flat defender is. Sometimes you can get it behind him, just like that. But he's playing really far back, so we, it's kind of making us check down. But if they do have, like, hard flats or something like that, you know, you can get it to the corner out. But we're just going to take our check down. Now, one last time here, of course, we try to hit that backside uh, dig route to X, like I was talking about. If nothing else is open, let's see if when we roll out. We can hit it over the middle just like that sometimes. Obviously, I have Cam Newton. He doesn't have Gunslinger. He doesn't have Escape Artist. So it makes it a little bit more difficult to throw that. Let's try it one last time here. If I throw it a little bit sooner, I do believe I'll have it just like that over the middle. So that's kind of your last resort. I don't really recommend it unless nothing else is open when you're rolling out to that right side. Let's jump to the next play. All right, we'll move over one formation here to the Bunch Hatback Strong formation. Now, this formation has been around the last few years. has some great plays as well. We have Y Trail. We have inside zone. We have a brand new RPO uh, added to this formation, which I really like. Of course, vertical is one of the best plays in Madden every single year. Z spot and flood, really good plays as well. But the play we want to take a look at is PA bunch shot. And we're going to go ahead and run this versus a zone coverage. Now, you can literally run the stock. It is that good. A um, couple different things I like to do out of this. Put the running back on an in route, just like that. Tighten it on a flat. I'm going to go ahead and motion over DJ Moore and put him on a slant. So you see here we have this uh, slant flat combo, right? I like to low pass those that slant across the middle. Majority of the time, you know, the zone defenders won't really guard that. They're gonna have to start to use of that, of course. We'll set that up one more time here, just like this. Motion over RB. See it right there like that. And then we will go ahead and pass lead that. I like to low pass that as much as possible as well. Set it up again here. Sometimes you will have the tight end flat uh, immediately too. As soon as you hike it, tight end flat route's really good this year as well. But I like to throw to this halfback in route coming across the formation. Those are really effective this year. You know, I've talked about it a million times on the channel. But the halfback ins and out routes, super, super effective uh, this year in Madden 22. Just absolute money. You know, you can get beat man. They get underneath the zones, as you see here, uh, for an easy completion. 
You can always turn into a big play when you have a guy like Christian McCaffrey coming out of the backfield as well. And then finally, we want to go ahead and try to hit our deep crosser here to B. If we can get a little bit of time, that deep crosser to B is really, really good. See how he gets behind the zone coverage. Obviously, a horrible throw right there from Cam Newton. Now, you can block the tight end as well um, to give yourself just a little bit more time if you want to try to get this deep crosser. See if we can, maybe we can roll out, get something. Nope, we can't, but we can still check it down to McCaffrey for an easy completion. So if you do get a little bit of time, and of course I recommend having a skate artist um, or, you know, Gunslinger to get the pass there quicker to this deep crosser to B, but we're just getting no time. But you see B getting wide open right there, and that's one of the best crossers in the game. We'll go over to the bunch offset formation, and of course, double post. I don't need to talk too much about it. You guys know how good double post is in Madden the last two years. Simple adjustment. I'll just put my t uh, my slot receiver, DJ Moore, here on a drag, and we're going to be looking for the tight end immediately off the line, the drag, or the halfback route. Um, we have a little flood between the drag and the C route coming to the left side. And of course, this post route to B is absolute money. So every route on this play is viable. We can throw, you know, we can just do so many different things out of this play. You see there, this running back route, just super, super difficult to defend. I mean, probably one of the best plays, uh, best routes in the game by far. Let's go ahead and run it again here. This time, what do we have? We're, we're going to have our drag underneath here. So we'll first read usually the underneath routes between the drag and the halfback route. But we do like to throw the routes behind it sometimes as well. This time, I'm going to go ahead and throw an easy little check down to the tight end flat. Told you guys how good the tight end flats are uh, in this year's Madden. So I like to check it down to that as well. Looks like we might have man coverage here. We do. First man coverage. This drag from the slot receiver usually gets wide open. Uh, especially when you have a great player there like DJ Moore. So this play obviously pretty self-explanatory at this point. I don't need to break it down too much. Um, most of you guys know how good... Double post is, and it wouldn't be fair if I did not include it in the Carolina Planthers ebook because it's that good. And of course, finally, we have our uh, post route to B over the middle, which kind of gets in between the zones. And if you have a good route runner, it can beat man as well. So, double post, one of the best plays in Madden 22 by far. All right, guys, finally, we'll go over to the tight slots halfback weak formation. This formation's really picked up a lot of steam lately in the Madden community and on the professional scene. A lot of pro players running this formation, especially if you have, you know, the Hot Rail Master or some route apprentices out there to create some extra hot routes, right? Now the play I want to take a look at is going to be Mesh Spot. This play is absolute money this year. We talked about how effective these halfback wheel routes are. They are so, so good this year. So what I like to do out of this is put X on a little flat route, just like that. And we're going to create that halfback wheel flat combo that we love. And I like to put DJ Moore on either a slant or a smart routed in route. And you can do either one. Either one's fine. If you have route apprentice, you can put them on a post. That will work as well. And I like to either put my tight end on a flat or just block him over here on the right side. The flat kind of helps to bring out any flat defenders for the slant to get open. This is how I like to set it up. Our main reads are really the running back wheel as soon as he cuts up or the slant coming across the middle. It really stresses the user over the middle of the field. So you see here, as soon as he kind of cuts up, we pass lead inside with a low pass. Possession catch it every time. Really, really difficult to defend, uh, you know, that route. Just And no zones can really guard it. Man coverage can't really guard it at this point in the year. Super, super effective. Obviously, you want to have that gunslinger or, you know, pass lead elite uh, ability on the quarterback just to give you a little bit more velocity on these passes. We'll go ahead and do it again here. You see, as soon as he cuts up, boom, pass lead inside, secure catch every single time. If they do go over to guard that, we're going to come backside here to DJ Moore on this slant. I like to low pass this as well over the middle with a possession catch. Just makes it really difficult to defend, like I said. You can also sometimes hit B. Uh, over the top there on that post, a little bit more of a tighter window throw, but will be open as well. So one last time here, we throw it to C-Mac out of the backfield. Every single time you see the animation we get, pretty much unstoppable. They're going to have to use one of those routes. So hope you guys enjoyed this free Carolina Panthers offensive ebook, breaking down some of the best money plays in the Panthers playbook. Like I said, one of my favorite playbooks to use this year in the game. Really, really effective. Make sure you guys get out there, use some of these plays. Of course, subscribe to the channel. Hit this video with a like, comment down below your thoughts, man. Plenty, plenty of free ebooks on the way. Remember, we're breaking down all 32 team NFL playbooks, creating little money scheme, uh, money plays, mini schemes, ebooks out of all 32 playbooks. So, hope you guys did enjoy it. Until next time, your boy T Davis is out.